smart young man makes a mistake, learns from it, and never make that mistake again. But a wise old soul finds a smart man and learns from him how to avoid making that mistake at all. You are now watching Casualties of War with Richie Rolex. I want to thank you guys for tuning in. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I have a very, very special guest today. Uh, the owner of Andrea's Touch Cleaning and the owner of Eminem Twin Towing, Andrea. Uh, where are you from, Andrea? Um, I was born in Philadelphia, but um, most of my childhood was in Pottstown, like county area. Okay. Or whatever. But I guess we can say I've been back and forth. Um, right. Grew up in Philly in Pottstown. Okay, so how was it in Pottstown? Um, definitely different from Philly. Um, Pottstown was, I don't know, like, I don't know how to explain the county, but it was like, it was like the county, but we lived in more like the urban area of the county or whatever. It was, it was fun. Who did you live with? Um, my mom, my mom had four children, uh, two boys, two girls. So I've always lived with my mom. Or if I was living in Philly, it was either with my dad and his family. Or I lived with my grandma also. So they were always separated, like since you was growing up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't know if they've ever been together. Um, but yeah, they've been separated my entire life. So you've never seen them in a relationship ever your whole life? No. Okay, and how did that feel weird to you? or? Um, I don't know that it felt weird because it's all I knew. Right. So, I mean, I don't know what it felt. It so did you have any man on, like a stepfather or anything? Um, I don't have anybody that I called like a stepfather, but my mom's been married or, you know, had boyfriends around or, you know, whatever the case may be, but nobody that I felt a father figure at okay. So when you were with your dad, how was it there with just him and did he have a stepmom around or? Um, yeah, I have a, I have a stepmom. She's been in my life for all my life that I know of. But I think they got together maybe when I was like two. So like I said, my entire life. Um, so in that household, there was a mother and a father, but it was still weird. Right. It, I, it didn't feel no different, you know. Um, it didn't feel like I had a male figure there. Right. Um, yeah. You said it didn't feel like you had a male figure there? No, like when I moved to live with my dad, yeah, it, it was definitely different. It, it it wasn't what I thought it would be okay. when I moved with my dad. What did you think it would be? What I um. So typically I did like weekends and holidays over there, so I was getting like the weekend living that they right. were, you know, that they were doing. I didn't know their Monday through Friday or whatever. Right. Um, and I have two younger sisters, and you know they got the same mom and dad. They always. Uh, you know, they lived in the house also. So, um, you know, I, I want to move down. I want to know what it's like to have a mom and a dad. And uh, whatever's going on up here, I don't want to be here with my mom no more. So, you know, I figured I want to move with my dad. I moved with my dad. And like I said, it wasn't it wasn't what I was looking for. I was looking for, like, that family dynamic. Like, a mom and a dad. Right. And, you know, my siblings. I'm an older sister. And it, I didn't get what I was looking for. So, because, because that wasn't your mom. Did you feel like, like an outsider or something? Um, an outsider? I, I was never, I was never made to feel like an outsider. Mm -hmm. I was never made to feel like an outsider. But there are things that happened that me myself, I felt like, you know, I felt right. a little left out and things like that. But I was never made to feel that way. Like I never Basically, think that. How you took some yeah, things. absolutely. Right. And I never, I never spoke upon it. I just was like, I sit back, like, damn, like, you know, look what they got, and this is what yeah. I got. It, or like, damn. Would you feel this? comfortable sharing like an example of that? Um, so like for holidays, and I'll, I'll, I'll come down. But like. There's no buts. I can just speak on it because then I was a child. Right. I'm, I, I'm looking at it exactly how I was looking at it back then as a child. I look at it like on, on holidays, like um, I'll come down and my little sister's got like everything, everything. And it's like, here go Drea, you know, here go her two gifts or right. whatever the case may be. And I don't, it don't mean that they love me any less, but as a child, I'm sitting back thinking like, 
you guys vocalize, you, my stepmother and you know my father, y'all vocalize that I'm no different than them. Why do? Why are my gifts any different than them? At home with my mom, me and my sister had the same exact gifts, no matter what, you know. And, and we were years apart. Me and my sister two years apart. But like my mom made sure like we were treated, treated like we were equal. Right. She said it and her words matched it. So it was kind of like, all right, or um, I guess that's like, that'd be like the basics of it. I, I don't want to go too, you know, too, too deep. Right. But yeah, that's like the basics, the basic or whatever. Um, yeah. So besides gifts and stuff work, work. Was it ever any different treatment? Um, now, I can, different, yes, but not different bad. Dif I, I can say different treatment than where I was living with my mom. Not, my, my younger sisters are five years apart and then five more years apart, so we're right. five and 10 years apart. So I was absolutely treated different, but I can't be treated equal as somebody five years younger right. than me. So I wasn't digging certain things that I had to do, but I was older, you know what I mean? So it was shit that like me having to watch my little sisters. I felt that that was a punishment. I don't have to watch anybody at home. Like that's not my job, that's not my duty. Like why do I have to? Like why are y'all making me watch you're a child. Like I felt, I felt some type of way, but that don't mean like they were being like hard on me or whatever the case may be. I j I felt that I was being treated different. Like they don't have no responsibilities around here. Why when I come here, I gotta do this or do that or y'all talking to me like this and talking to me like that. You know what I mean? So as far as like internal feelings, I I, I felt you know that's how I felt about those situations. So because you didn't primarily live with your father. And you only had like the weekend time with him. Was it anything you felt like you was missing? Um. Yeah, everything. I could just like. So for my father, like, I can tell you that my father's been in my life my entire life, like, or I know who my father is since day one. Like, I've been there, I lived there, but I couldn't tell you anything about him. Like, there's nothing there. Like, it was never. Like, it was never anything there. Like. I didn't say I didn't I don't know what it's like to hug my dad, say I love you. Same with my mom, like we lacked af affection. Like it was nothing there. And it wasn't um nor did I had that with my siblings because it's not something that was taught in the it's house. Tough, right? We couldn't fucking stand each other. Like we hated each other's gut. I did things to my brothers like that I think about now that is like like I needed help. Why would I do that? Like why would I do this shit? Like, you know what I mean? I can remember one day like it was my younger brother. Um, I put, but I think people was doing this shit at the time though. Uh, uh, no, 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 they wasn't doing that. This is something with salt and ice. I remember doing that, like convincing him to do that shit, knowing that it was going to inflict pain. And then like, I put a fucking fork on a stove one day and I, I, I burnt one of these niggas. Like why, why, yeah. why? And it wasn't to like be mean. Like I was really like, I don't know, like being, dumb dumb kids but i couldn't imagine madison my daughters um i you know, i couldn't imagine my daughters inflicting any type of pain on one another like even it, jokingly like you don't we don't play fight we don't because that you could possibly hurt a person like i, I didn't understand that because i didn't understand love you know what i mean so it was like like me and my sister we would break each other's shit and uh like fight like our me and our friends were separate. Like we couldn't stand each other. Like so when you were with so when you was with your parents, whether it's your mom or your dad, was what, what was the conversations? And if it wasn't no like, I was just I was just there. I was just so there. there was no connection. Nah, nope, just there, just getting in trouble for shit that you're doing wrong, and um. But never told how to do it right. 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 Like. No lessons, no, I, I can remember, I have one lesson or one thing that like stick with me that my dad said to me one time and I'll just never forget it. And not only do don't I forget it, I, I applied it to my life. If a man, if a man trying to talk to you and he like, yo shorty or hey beautiful, you never come to them. You never go to them. If they really want you, they'll come to you. That's all I got to. If a nigga say, yo, instead of me going to them, I let them come to me. Ooh. So now, is that you know what I mean? Like that. But would you ever tour? 
what type of man you should, you know. Mm -hmm. Or what to do after he comes right. to me and get that number. Because now once he came to me, he got me. Now what? Because everything, you know, I, I don't have any lessons or values after that. Like, there's nothing else in my Did head. Did you ever try to reach out to have them conversations or? No. Absolutely. Um, like, growing up, absolutely not. Were you not comfortable at that point? No, not comfortable at all. I, I just thought that this is what it was and how it was supposed to be. And how do you ask your dad to hug you? Right. How do you ask your dad to say I love you? Right. How do you ask your dad to tell you like who to and who not to let touch on you? Like I don't know how to walk in and have these conversations. I just thought like this is what it is. Like this is this is what it is. This is clearly how it's supposed to be. Like you know. Um, at, at what age did you start like dealing with men or boys? Man, um, like thirteen. I was like thirteen, around thirteen or fourteen, when I lost my virginity or whatever. But when I not even when I think back on it, um, I didn't lose my virginity. My virginity was taken from me. I was 13, 14, and this man was like 19 years old. And what was happening, okay, so I wasn't, I wasn't physically taken advantage of, like, you know, getting here, rip my clothes off. It was more like, I'm this 13 year old, 14 year old kid. And, you know, like basically you're telling me this is what's supposed to happen and this is what we're supposed to do. And I ain't got no parents around, I ain't got no, no homies around. I ain't got nobody around me. So this is love. He he cares about me. You you think I you think that I am this? This is what I'm supposed to do at this point. Like what else am I supposed to do? I couldn't tell you his name. I don't remember ever seeing him again after that. Like my mom found out. I don't know how my mom found out. Like somebody told my mom like that I lost my virginity and she came to me. I was like yeah. I was so like I was embarrassed, but it didn't go anywhere. It didn't go anywhere. It wasn't like, why did you let this person do it? I didn't know this motherfucker from, it was one of my girlfriend's brothers. Like I felt afterwards, I felt set up. I felt used. I felt taken advantage of. Like I felt so freaking low, yo. And that was it. And then I got in trouble. And that was it. Right. Like no explanation, no talking, no like, why did you do that? Like. Like, what is it like let's talk about this shit it's not okay it was just like you're in trouble ain't nobody so i don't i'm gonna try to get it right with the next person i guess figure out what i did wrong it's crazy because that just gave me like a, a different perspective on statutory rape right and the reason why it was raped even though you gave it to him mm -hmm. the reason why it was raped because he mentally raped you mm -hmm. he, your mind ain't where his mind is at yeah, i was taking advantage right. of I was taken advantage of point blank period and in a lot of situations I was taken advantage of and I feel that you're able to be taken advantage of when you lack certain things and when you lack knowledge and you can because I don't know I don't know my worth I don't know that you shouldn't be doing this I don't know these things I don't know like I think that this is love I think that this is what's supposed to be happening ain't nobody at, at, back at home hugging me and rubbing on me and you know telling me I'm this and I'm that or like I'm not getting that shit. I don't. Yeah. So even after that, all you did was get in trouble. Um, as far as like the losing my virginity situation. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was no other reprimand. Like it was just. So it wasn't like a. Uh, you never got to express that you were taking advantage uh, of. That? No, 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 no. Nope, absolutely not. Because you get looked at like you're not no dummy. You know right from wrong. That's it. That's all they look at is as, as children. You know, right from wrong. Like, it's nothing in between. Like, like that was it. It was just like, that was wrong. Why would you go out there and let that boy, why would you go sleep with this boy that you barely know? And what do you say to your mom besides, like, I don't know and I'm sorry because I'm in trouble. Ain't nobody trying to talk to me. It wasn't, Andrea, I heard this. Can we talk? It was like, you what? You know? So that that's the response that you give. So so the lack of conversation and like love in the home, did it affect the way you look at yourself, like your self esteem? Oh man. I I didn't know who Andrea Johnson was till about 
and I'm probably like two years in meeting me. Like, right. I'm probably smooth two years into knowing who I am because a lot of my life was based off of like, like seeking other people approval and I make it relative to seeking the attention and approval from like my parents. Like I wanted to be loved from 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 um, a man that was in my life, all my life, like I had you right there. And I just wanted to be loved and seen by like this individual. So it was like, when I would get into a relationship, I would get that same energy. Even though you don't see me for what I think I am, like, like you don't see me for being this dope, beautiful, you know, passionate, driven, like you don't see me for that person. I just be wanting people to see me for who I am so freaking bad like that I push and I give 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 so much and it's like because I didn't know who I was I'm just trying to prove to you like I am a good person I am dope like just see me see me dad see me mom see me guy that blah 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 you know what I mean and it just sucked that you could just it suck it hurts it fucking hurt like being present and not being seen that shit hurt yeah. So transparently speaking, how do you? Is that something you still struggle with a little bit? For sure. Um, but I have an understanding of certain things, so there's not much hurt associated with it. So, okay. Like, um, I've talked to my father. I talked to my father because I'm I'm an adult. I have children, and like, and he's he's human also, and he sees flaws and. And, and, and you know imperfections and things that um, you know that he may have done as a father we've had a talk within the last couple months you know what I mean and it was a beautiful talk because I understand why my dad couldn't love me I don't blame him I never blamed right. him I never fought him I just didn't get it and I was out here looking for it I know I, I never stopped coming around my dad I never said you don't love me I just never like I just kept looking for it or I kept trying to push myself or pull myself or just keep smiling and being this this happy go lucky person when in all reality like yeah yeah but um what was I saying I had I had a talk with my dad and I you know he just let me know some things that I would have never known if I wasn't in this space of looking for like understanding and, and, and clarity and finding who Andrea was so Two years ago or three years ago, I wouldn't understood what he was talking about. But considering like I did my own research on who I am and like how things affected me, now I can sit and I can talk to my father and understand, you know, why or you know, yeah, why why it is that I was raised the way I was or why he couldn't love me correctly. Somebody couldn't love him correctly. You know what I mean? Something he been through some shit. Like I hug, man, I hugged him and I cried. Like, I didn't even know it was like to hug my dad. Like, but in that moment, we hugged, he cried, and it was like I was there consoling him. The shit was crazy. It was crazy. It was crazy. I'm this hurt child that was affected by everything that you did, yet this story turns around and I'm the one consoling you, man. Because I get it. I see you, dad. I see you. I see you, dog. I see you. Like, I see you. We're human and we're imperfect. And, like, you've been through some shit that, like, you saying at this age... I felt myself two years ago. You my dad. You 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 years older than me. I feel horrible. I feel horrible. I love you. And I'm like, the beauty of us like understanding that he understands that he wasn't a good father. He understands that like I thought I was doing the right thing by you being here. I thought by you being here and being out with my wife, going on these trips with your sisters, I thought that was it. I thought I was doing the right thing. When no nah, dog, like, no, why am I only out with these people? Why am I only out with them? Why don't I have you? Like, I don't get it. And then not to mention, it's like, I don't have you Monday through Friday. You know what I mean? So I don't get to see any of you. Like, yo, know, it's, it's, it's just certain things that I was just finding out about my dad throughout the years. And it was like, why do not I know these things about boy? Like, this shit don't make no sense. I know who he was. At, I see him every, so often. I see him all the time. But just understanding how, like, people... The way you grow up, the shit really, really, really affect it. it, it cr- it's crazy because, like, when I, as far as like my relationships, like, I would look 
for love. I'm like looking, like literally looking for love. And then like the second somebody finds like some, some interest, now I'm trying to prove myself. Now I am trying to prove to you that I, I'm, I'm not a hoe. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, um, um, I'm not a bad person. I don't cheat. I'm not this. I'm, I'm trying to prove everything I can possibly prove to you so that you can improve so that you can love on me correctly. Please love on me correctly. And it's like you lose yourself or you don't even know what the, who the fuck you are trying to prove yourself to these people that how, how can you prove yourself? Just a mess, a freaking mess. You will get lost. You will get lost. You will get so lost, dog. You get so lost. The cries, the cries for help, man. Like, as an adult, I can think of all my cries. Right. I can think of, like, a lot of situations where I was crying out for help. Like, I just wanted to be seen. Like, dad, somebody, please fucking see me. All the way to the point where it's like, I don't even want to be here no more. What the fuck? am I here for it? I'm in this room you don't see me. I'm crying out you don't see me. Somebody told you that I've been touched on. Why ain't nobody doing nothing? I've been smacked around, beat the fuck up. Nobody is doing nothing. Nobody sees me. Like, what the fuck is the point of being here? Two, it's it's been two times I've done, like, self-inflicting pain and people, I had a discussion with my girlfriend the other day um, and she made a comment like I think that you know, someone did something for like attention, you know, like they did some type of self-inflicting pain for attention. And I was like, damn, I know I told you that I've done that before, but let me tell you why, you know what I mean? And just getting into it, it was like, she had a better understanding. Like, like you can't sit back and judge when you've never been in that situation. Like you'll never be able to judge. But the beauty of like my girlfriend or the beauty of like where I'm at in life, like I speak I speak with passion and I speak for people to understand. I don't speak to like, why would you do that to, like, why would you judge her? Or why would you talk to her like that? Or why would you say that about that girl? I like to like enlighten people. Like, look, let me bring you down a little bit because everybody's human and we all been through some shit. And if you hadn't been there, you can't even judge, dog. And that's, that's why people do judge because they don't understand. Mm -hmm. So it's always important to seek understanding about everything. Yeah. Like if you would have never, seek the understanding from your dad you probably would still have a little something against them yeah them, but... looking at him like like how do i how do like i i find it unfair to say that these two individuals my step my stepmom and my dad love me any less than kayla and raven because i didn't get a gift you know or because i didn't get this or because i didn't get that how dare me like no that's not love no. gifts ain't love that's not it that's not what it is so that's not fair like to feel that like so that's why i wanted to get it out because it's like that doesn't mean they don't love me any less i took like my children didn't celebrate christmas at all we didn't do any holidays this year does that mean i love them any less than last year no so like i have the under i because i i seek knowledge and i seek understanding i understand that these gifts didn't mean that y'all didn't love me any less like it didn't mean that at all you know what i mean and i grew up feeling that way like man that's corny why would they like gifts some bullshit that was sent in from china for real nah that's not that's not what love is that's not what it's about and i guess coming into this light i i, I can understand that but when you're grown like like as an adult and you have these children around you have to understand like that's it's symbolic to something it's symbolic to something. You buying 10, 10, and two gifts? Come on. Like, it's symbolic. You, you got, the parents got to pay attention. Y'all got to pay attention. You don't get to scream that all of y'all are equal when they're not all being treated. E equal means one thing. Right. Equal is equal. I don't care how you, how you, you know, you move it. Equal is equal. 10, 10, and 10 is equal. 10, 10, and 6 is not equal. So, like, you can't do it. Eliminate it all. So for my children, I lim like Christmas is like holidays are completely done, and and I um it was crazy. So I had confirmation that um it what I was doing taking Christmas away was was okay. Um, I, they're tutors. They, they she had gifts. She had them all wrapped up. I didn't want to say no. So I let the lady br bring the gifts. Mackenzie had like five gifts. Daddy had two. They didn't open the gifts. They didn't know what was in them. And boom, from the rip. Maddie's already disappointed and feels less of. Less of. Maddie could have a million dollars in her boxes and Kenzie could have 
fucking coal and shit in hers. And M Maddie was upset. And just that, like, I watched it and I was just like, this doesn't define you. You, this lady giving you gifts, don't, you know, like, you're no less than because she got more gifts. You know, like, you're already disappointed and hurt by, you don't even know what's going on here. Like, so it was just like, like my comp, so I said yes to the gifts because I didn't want the tutor to be upset when in all reality, I should have just stuck with my gut and respectfully declined or respectfully like let her give that to someone else. But it came in my house and it did exactly what I didn't want it to do. I didn't know what the gifts were. I had no idea. I'm just being nice. Like, yeah, sure lady, you can bring them in, give these kids the gifts. From the rip, my kids, they were, she was disappointed. Like, and it bothered me so much. Like, this ain't what it is. Like, I was, I was like, does this define you, Maddie? You don't even know what's in your boxes yet. Why are you upset? Yeah, so. But it matters. So it what do you think something. you should do in that? Because, all uh, right. So you could have blocked that gift given. Mm -hmm. But what about in the future when you're not there and there's going to be people giving them gifts and people. So. So you think you should just talk to them and tell them, like, don't let these gifts define so, you and stuff like that? Yeah, for sure. So, so every, so most not most of everything that I do comes with a lesson every every situation like for my daughters come with like sh like I can say a series of talks that we're having no TVs on like nothing on like me and my children we sit and we talk for understanding and it's like once y'all get it cool boom because I can't correct the world I can't make the world understand me so you bring in it don't matter you can bring gifts to them they have an understanding uh, like this gift doesn't define me or it, it doesn't mean anything or Maddie gets more like it doesn't mean it, it doesn't mean that because we already had those talks in the house So now once they go to the real world We can't control what they do as long as like you carry yourself correctly still or you know the truth That's all that matters. So you are an awesome mom, right? Oh, thank you How did you learn how to be an awesome mom? From all the pain that I went through all the pain that I went through not knowing what it's like to hug my siblings like I make Madison and Mackenzie wash each other back, lotion each other's back, button each other's um, clothing items and stuff like that. And that kind of, like tell each other they love each other every night. You will hug her when we cross the street, you will hold hands. That is your best friend. I don't care what anybody say, oh, they need to have their own this, they that. So basically, the things that you didn't have, the things that hurt you, you are now using to help your kids. Yes. So I wonder if you didn't go through those things, mm -hmm. would that still be as oh, important man, to you? Oh man, man, oh my goodness. I, so, so now man. it's like, I look at everything that I went through like, and, and I thank God and I say, I laugh. I laugh at my situation because I'm a survivor. You know what I mean? Like he used me for something. I was used for something bigger. Me being touched on, I'm a survivor. I get to make sure, like I get to tell my children, like no is no, yes is yes. I don't care if he said he love you, like you, da 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 da. Like I get to kiki kaka at certain things. Right you know what I mean? Like, like, like I, I don't know. Like I feel I was used for something. I, I was used for something bigger. I was used for something. I was used for Madison and Mackenzie. Like, oh man. Ooh. At one time, I, it was why, God, why? But yeah. now you know. I, I don't ask why no more. I don't ask why. Mm -hmm. I get it. it. Ain't no confusion. He don't play. He don't play. He don't play. Ooh. Yeah, so I understand. Like, I had to go through what I had to go through because they are not, they will not, they will not go through what I went through. Ooh, I promise. He got me. Like, and that, that was my confirmation, my pain, all that, all that, those battles that I won. Like, look at me now. Like, yeah, all right. At 28, like, he gave me a break. Like, all right, all right, all right. I'm giving you a break. Like, and this is why, like, and look what you got. Like, that was my prize, my gift. Like, I get to make sure that they, they love on one another. They don't, that they don't <laughs> seek another man. They, 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 they won't, they don't, my children don't have a father. They don't have a, um... A father that they can cling on to and you know that can show them how to be loved correctly but I just 
I do a great job of acknowledging the men, the great men that they do have so that you're not seeking that. You have Uncle Rich, you have uh, Uncle Mike, you have Grandpa, you have um, Papa, you have so many men. You have your uncles, you have so many men that love you and they love you correctly. You ain't gotta go look for that from nobody. And I love on you so hard that like, we, I make sure that there's nothing there lacking. The conversations that we have, you know what I mean? Um, hearing, like them actually hearing the words, I love you. Like, I didn't know what that shit was like from my parents. Like physical touch. Y'all don't, y'all not gonna want that from nobody else. Them clingy little girls, I wake up in there literally like up my ass. I didn't, I don't know what my parents feel like. Like I never knew what they felt like. Like my siblings, I never know what they felt like. like we just started saying I love you and shit like, but we formed that on our own. We all start forming our own relationship as we got older and had children and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, like I'm, I'm, I'm good. Like I'm great. I've, I've, yeah, I've been through some, I've been through some stuff, you know, some stuff that when we talk about a lot of things and it's some stuff that I'm sure that I haven't shared with you and like when I tell my girlfriend, she like, it's no way, like you've been through that, it's no way, like you don't look like that, you don't look like that. Good, I don't want to look like that. Like I'm not who I, I'm, I'm not that. I'm not that, like, that, that's not who I am. That's, they, they were my battles, that's what I went through. That ain't me, like, people, allowing things to happen to me that I would have never, like that should have never happened to me, that, that, doesn't, that doesn't define me. That's not me, so I'm glad that I don't look like that. Right. Like motherfuckers touching on me, that shouldn't be putting their hands on me. I don't want to look like a person that that's been touched on or that sat in the room and cried and you know cut her, cut herself or fucking had to be checked into the hospital. I don't want to look like that. That's not who I am. Let's go there. Can we, um, if you're comfortable, can you explain some of the times where you were crying out for help and you did some things to harm yourself? Um, I was I was a young. Let's see. No, I was I, I was a teenage girl um, at this time. And I had a crazy ass relationship, a crazy ass relationship with this guy. And when I say like I thought he was like like I, I man, and I can I can I can understand some things now. But I praised him, and I know for a fact you praise no man but God. You know what I mean? But I physically like, praised this man. Like you know, I just thought that he was everything and some and when he was like he treated me like shit you know what i mean treated me like shit but when he was done with me and i just kept fighting for him back and he didn't want me no more like it was like i am done nobody wants me nobody fucking sees me my y'all already think that i'm this y'all already think that i'm that and i was where i couldn't tell you where i was one day but like nobody sees me like nobody would see me i was going through so much fucking pain and i would cut my fucking i would cut my wrist i mm, these no 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 no. that that during that situation there when he left me and we couldn't like he didn't want anything to do with me anymore and i didn't understand why because i was doing so much self-proving like i am this i am that i am you know i am all this during that time I took I don't know what fucking type of pills I took I took some type of pills and my family came in the house and I was passed out on um, my bedroom floor and, uh, you know I was by the grace of God um, I was seen when I was supposed to be seen like that was a cry that was somebody see me see did you really want to die? I, I didn't want to be yeah I didn't want nothing to do with anything anymore I didn't get it I didn't get why the things that was happening to me were, was happening to me, you know what I mean? And like I said, that wasn't a good relationship and I kept fighting for it. It wasn't good at all. But um, yeah, I took these fucking pills, my family found me and still there was no counseling after that. It was like, oh my God, Drea took all these pills, Drea trying to kill herself, Drea doing all this over this boy, all, all over this book, over this boy. Over this boy, there was no, there was no counseling, no, nothing in my life changed after that, except for shame. Now I'm, now I'm fucking salty and I'm ashamed. And, and to think that he knows now and I got to live every day like this. Oh my goodness. Like what? What? It don't make no sense. I used to cut my wrist when I lived with my dad. 
excuse me, and I think it was my mom or maybe at school. I don't know where it was that it was found out, but I can I can never remember correction or understanding or like talks afterwards. I would be I had a I stayed in the um, basement at my dad's house. I would just feel so fucking dumb and alone in that motherfucker. Like I just there like like a speck. Like I'm just here. I'm just here, and you just. You want to be seen. You want some attention. You want somebody to ask the right question. Yo, asking that one question, are you okay? What is wrong? Why? And why, why, why? Ask your children why. And ask them why they did it and why they felt that way or why they said that. Ask your children why. Please, 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 please. It's so vital. It's so vital. May I allow some things that I have no idea why. And maybe if somebody would have asked me, like... It would have made me realize, like, I don't know why I'm doing this. And that would have started some dialect. Like, why are you, why are you out here with these people? Like, the question is mad. I ask my daughters why all the time. Like, why did you do this? Or why did you say that? Or, and, and I let them know how important it is to, to express your feelings and how much they are entitled to their feelings, whether I agree with it or not. And we gotta get down to the nitty gritty of why you feel this way so we can make sure you don't feel this way again. I just think that this shit is so important because that's when you become like unseen and unheard, you know? So what would happen if if any guy just come and give you that attention that you're seeking so hard for or say that they love you, even if they really don't love you, but they giving you what, what you've been missing this whole time? Mm. If I was to get that right now? Not right now, when you was growing, as, when you were dealing with boys, like, how easy was the, what if, how easy was it for them to get past the walls? Like being fucking you, Sunday morning. Right. Like Sunday morning. I'm dope, I'm cool. Now, I can say that I've never been to the level of, I've never disrespected myself. I've never just like out here or right. had no ill relationships or anybody that I dealt with can honestly say like I had a good heart. You know what I mean? Like they did some nut shit to right. me. Like it wasn't me out here like moving on them or acting crazy or being out of control. I'm just like anybody that I've talked to or dealt with like they can't say that like, you can't put bad. You can't put bad on my name. Like you know I was always a genuine person but it wasn't hard. It wasn't hard at all. You just be as cool as I am, and that was it. That was it. Hey, let's hang out, do this, do that, and anything after that. I think that this is what we're supposed to do. If you like me and you say, and I like you, we supposed to be fucking, and we supposed to be doing this and going out and doing that. Ain't that what we supposed to do? Ain't that what everybody else doing? Ain't nobody walking around saying that you a black queen and you this and you that. You a fucking hoe and you a bad bitch and you this and you that. Ain't that what? What do you do? My Madison and Mackenzie are queens. You know what I mean? They walk at the house and they're called like they're called queens. So like I couldn't imagine a flight. A fuck boy couldn't say anything to them at my age. What well, I'm a queen. Like me, I was just I was just a bad bitch that was cool, you know what I mean? And that was it. I didn't have anything behind it. No mom telling me I'm this, no dad telling me I'm that, no siblings like, yo, you out of pocket, you this, no old heads like sit here to save you, just out here figuring shit out. So at, at what point did you, did you realize and did, did you learn and start to know your worth? Um, my children, my children, they just, my, 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 my children and, um, and and seeking and seeking God to be honest within these last couple years within the last I can say in the last couple months like it's been like it's been intense like like on top of knowing who I am I've come to acknowledge who my people are so it like really like turned me up you know what I mean so so not only do I have an understanding for who I am I have an understanding for my father I have an understanding for my friends I have understanding for people that has hurt me and, and may not have understood that they hurt me or did things to me that was like like you fucked me up dog like you letting that person touch me you fucked me up like and and I can say it without hurt and I can say it without pain because I have like understanding of other people now and it's it's it's, it's a beautiful insight but um 
my daughters was my saviors. My daughters was like, I was dealing dealing with their father. It was a, it was a really really bad situation, and it was like if it wasn't for Madison and Mackenzie, I don't know where I would be with that situation. I don't know if I would have been able to pull out because I thought he loved me. His name tattoo big as day. I thought that man loved me like. I, I thought that's what it was. I thought that's what I thought that's what it was. But I but I knew, but I knew in my heart that that couldn't be it. I knew something was tingling in me, saying this can't be forever. This can't be like true love. Like something ain't right. And then it was like having my daughters. Like I say I love you. I say those words and like I mean them and I feel them. Like. This not at not a, like the way you're treating me and the way that I feel about these kids. Like my daughters was the first time I experienced true love. Okay, like my daughter, we we're gonna get a little deep. Like um, pregnant with Madison and Mackenzie, I was ready to get rid of them. Like had my appointment in Planned Parenthood. Um, fucking did an ultrasound, no, and the lady asked one question. She was like, "If it's multiple, would you like to know?" I already knew. I say, um, yes. And she told me, well, it's 20. So I'm like, I already knew that. Uh, and then she went on to say, would you like to see the ultrasound? And I was like, for one of my head, like, I don't even get why y'all ask this question when we fucking here to do what we're here to do. But they got to ask this question. And I said, yes. She turned to screen and it was true love. And I was like, wow. I was just like, and it was, it, it was just, it was just crazy. It was just crazy. Like, I, I don't know. It was like, that was, that was my true love. That was like my moment of like, I felt something. I felt something like I felt some type of love. I felt something that I've never felt before. And I made it relative to love. So it was like, man, I went back in that waiting room and was like, I can't do this. I can't get I have a chance at love like I thought I had like I felt at that moment I had a chance at love I'm like I can't do this so you know I went on ahead my children and they would see things going on between me and their dad and they like they would cry and I would see pain like and I got to a point where I felt like I was causing that pain because I was allowing certain things I was allowing certain things in my space where my daughters were and like Seeing them in that light, I couldn't, like I was failing them. So it was like, I gotta save them for, I gotta save them for this, from this. So it was like, my baby saved my goddamn life. That was like the first time I experienced love. Like I will protect them with everything in me. Like I, you, you can't tell me nothing. You can't tell me you love, like nothing comes in between this. Like nothing that you saying, nothing that you got going on. Like men being around me, men being able to say or do what they want. You cannot because the, I got, you know, like Madison and Mackenzie are my everything. Like I can't fail them. I can't have you around because they're going to think this, you know, like, so now like I have purpose and again, I have love. Like I, I love somebody and somebody loves me back. So that was like, that was true love. That was the first time I felt and or experienced like something different in my body. Something I couldn't explain. Same with, um, I would make it relative to feeling the Holy Spirit. Like actually, um, you know, fit, like when, when I first felt the Holy it, it was something that I've never felt before. So it was like, it's confirmation. Right. Like I'm going around talking about, um, I got, you know, I have God flowing through me and I'm, I'm here and I'm there and, and, and no. No, this would happen. It would happen the day that it happened. Was like, yo, this is real. Yeah. Like when she turned that screen, yo, this is real. Like, th no words, no act, like nothing, no actions. It's just an internal feeling that I didn't ask for. It. I came here to get rid of these motherfuckers. Like, I didn't ask for it for true love to be turned in my face. You know what I mean? So, yeah. So, a question just sparked in my head, right? Mm -hmm. So I know you have relationships in the past that were abusive, whatever the case may be. Do you think those men didn't love you or they just did not know how to love oh, properly? Oh, no, no, no. T today, I understand that they didn't know how. Right. They didn't know how. Mm -mm. And back then, I thought that that was their way of showing love. Like, you know, or they just been through some shit. Everybody fighting. Everybody get knocked upside the head. But, and, that, and that's the part that bothers me. Like, it's normalized. It's normalized and and I hate this and we need to 
unnormalize it. You know, we have to start holding them accountable. So, um, like one of the things I would tell, I, I tell people all the time, like we discredit a rat, somebody that tells the truth. You know what I mean? I get it. You in the streets, uh, you in the street. Street people shouldn't be ratting. I get it. But we discredit them. We cancel a rat out. Somebody that was being honest. Somebody that was like really like telling the truth, right? You are done. You cancel. You cut out. You a nut. You everything. You get frowned upon. But we smacking our mom around, our sister, our baby moms around. Y'all still shaking these motherfuckers' hands. Rapists. Y'all 19 year olds touching 13 year olds. That shit supported in the hood. That shit's crazy. Why is this normalized? Why your homie tell yo man, yeah, uh, you knock your baby mom teeth out? You spit on your baby mom? You put a gun to who? Your baby mom, bro? Yeah, what? Why don't we why don't we cancel them out? Why ain't that shit cool? And they, these are commandments. These are commandments. We should we what? What? Nah, nah, I just feel like that stuff needs to be held at like a higher altitude than than rats. Rats is just so easy to cancel out. So, so easy. But us the, the men touching on these little girls and these motherfuckers not being there for their children and not respecting their mothers and, and, and not living how they should live. Why do they still get a pass? Yeah, I couldn't like, imagine if somebody caused pain to my daughters. I couldn't imagine. I like I could like you're done. You don't you don't have a chance in this world to ever be in the same space as me. You know what I mean? Why like why don't people carry that energy out here? So and and, and and it makes us, it makes the victim feel like like you don't matter. Like this shit is okay. Like I've been smacked on for years and nothing ever happened. I'm going to believe that it's okay, but I deserve it, or no one's ever going to do anything. Nobody, nobody coming for me. The shit, the shit just happened months ago, and it should have never happened. Why did it happen? No one's ever coming for me in this aspect, and that's how I feel. Like, and that's not okay. Somebody sitting back feeling unsafe, or like nobody cares, and nobody's ever going to say anything or do anything. I don't need this man put in jail. I just need y'all to. Let this motherfucker know he was wrong. Let him know, like, hold these people accountable. Because if he was a rat, y'all would have his paperwork and swinging it all around and posting it on the right. gram. He a rat this, he a rat that. Do you think if somebody would have said something to him and had him accountable, do you think anything would have changed? Um, um, for sure. Maybe, maybe, maybe if the people that you're surrounded by have your best interest or, or I, I don't know. I don't know because now, now I just look at him like I don't I just look at him like he hasn't gotten where I'm at yet. He has to deal with his own demons. Like he got to deal with whatever he got to deal with like because he has two parents too. Like he been through some shit. He was raised whatever way before I met him like but I can, I can gladly remove me and my children from that situation and let him deal with whatever he got to deal with on his own. Hey, you created them. When you can be 100 for them, come on come on because they only deserve 100 percent that's all that's all madison and mckenzie will ever get like that because like you're worth i need you to know that you are worth more you are worth a you are worth a person getting it together and being here for you full time you're worth that you are worth that baby you like i need my daughters to know that you know so yeah i don't have any ill feeling somebody told me that i know you hate him you gotta hate him you crazy? I don't hate him. I can't hate him. Like, I hug Madison and McKenzie every day. He was purposeful. He did what he was supposed to do. Like, I don't hate him. I feel bad for him. I feel bad for him that he can't love. He can't love the way I can love. I feel so bad for him. I can't wait. I pray. I pray I for him. I was about to say, do you pray for Man, him? Man, do I pray for him? That's the... My daughter's dead. I pray for that man. Hard, because... How can I pray for them without praying for him? Like, he did that. Like, how? I, I want the best for them, so I want the best for him. And, and the best for them is a damn father. But not him. Not the person you are right now. So all I can do is pray for you till you become that person. And my door is, is, is wide open once you have proven that. You know what I mean? Because Madison and Mackenzie deserves the best. They deserve the best. And I cannot discredit the fact of who you are. I can, I can acknowledge your actions right now, but I can't discredit who you are. You know, when I pray for that man, I pray for him so hard. Like I'm, I'm just glad that, first of all, I'm glad for your growth, and I'm glad that you are as understanding as you is now. Mm -hmm. Because despite the things that he might have done, 
I'm glad that you understand them because you might have done some things in your life too and you want that same understanding. You right. want to be forgiven and, and right. whatever the case may be. So I'm just glad for that. Uh, I want you to continue praying for them. Yes. And this is what happened. Yes. It's, I understand the power of prayer. You know what I mean? So I I, I didn't give up on him. You know, I didn't give up on him. I feel like that would be giving up on him. Right. Like you want my silent prayer, bro. For sure. That's great. That's great. Uh, yeah, I just I, because like again, and and that comes into understanding who I am, and understanding who my people are. So like like I want all, I I want to save all my people. Like he, I can't deny the fact of who he is. Like you know what I mean. So I, I want to save all my people. I want everybody to be where I am today and know that they are not what they've been through. Or like okay, you haven't been the best dad for the last eight years. That ain't who you are. You, you don't have to be labeled a bad dad. You know, some things happen to me that should have happened to me in my past. That does not make me what, you, that, that's not who I am. That ain't who I am. I'm pretty dope, you know what I mean? Like, and finally being able to look in the mirror and say that is like, y'all can't tell me nothing. I don't need you to tell me that I'm special and that I'm dope and I need you to hug on me anymore. I don't need that anymore, you know what I mean? So, just having that. But is it? It is definitely an everyday struggle. I'm not 1,000% cured and clear right. of who I am. I struggle because I dealt with this my entire life. Right. Like, from birth to to understanding. So it's like, you know, uh, we are imperfect human beings that, are, that, that, that strive. I don't know, just striving for more understanding every day. I just strive, just strive to be a better person every day. Do you think, do you think that uh, God has anything to do with the growth and the understanding. Oh man, up. everything. He has everything to do. Everything. So it's like, so it's like once I, I I seek the Most High, you know, it's like once I seek Him, it's like it made everything make sense. My battles, like like you know, everything that I went through, um, who I am, why I didn't like certain things that I didn't like back then, and why I loved the things that I did like back then. Like just to understand that God was with me the whole time even through them horrible times like it's just crazy so he had everything to do with do i think he had something but that's how crazy he is right because mm -hmm. back at them times you didn't know he was with you who was like, he now you can look back and see yo he was there here mm -hmm. here here when he did because but it comes with it comes with knowledge again right. because who is he right who was he back then i didn't even know who he was so like finding out who he is now was like I know, I know the creator of all the all the madness and all the greatness. Like, oh, that's why all these things were happening, or why again I didn't have connections with these things, or I did have connections with these things, or you know, or, or just a lot of things. It just it it all makes sense, and it's written like he causes no confusion. There will be no confusion. It's so much clarity, and I see things so clear now. You know, being in those relationships and, and, and back then, I didn't know him either. So I did not see clearly. Nothing was clear. I didn't know what I was doing or why I was doing it. How you getting smacked up? Somebody did what to you and you going back? I don't, I didn't understand. I didn't understand. But learning, 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 who, just seeking and, and, and understanding the things that I understand now. Like, I know what love is. I know how you should treat others. And I know how I should be treated. And, and I know who I should praise. Praise no damn man. Look out here walking fleshly like me. You tripping. Like, you ain't sorry. Like, and and, and that's, that's the reason why I'm as understanding as I am today. Because I know that everybody don't know the God that we know yet. Boom, right. So they're going right, to know one day. But right now, they don't know. Right, they don't know how to love correctly yet. I just, I just learned how to love correctly when I felt God. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. Love is patient. Love is kind. Love does not boast, does not envy, does not keep mm. record of wrong. Mm -hmm. These are all things that I did not know before. Right. So I hurt people in my past. A lot of people thinking that I was loving right. Right. Because that was the way I love. But that, mm -hmm. that don't mean it was the right way to love. So now that I know the right way to love, I can keep reflecting back onto that scripture so I can know, right. all right, man, let me tighten up here because this is how I'm really supposed to love my wife. And that's how I keep it all together. But right. yeah, yeah, God is, is amazing. Ooh, ain't he? <laughs> it's it, yeah, it's, it's beautiful. I tell people all the time, and I'm gonna be one thousand percent honest. The words came from you. It came from you, and it, I, it may have been in a different direction, but what, it, it was the words. Like 
you have to seek him yourself. Like, point blank. All right, that's what I'm gonna do. Cause I ain't digging this, I ain't digging right. that. I got too many questions here. I got too many questions here. So let me let me dig myself a little bit, you know. And boy, the digging, whoo, it didn't stop. It's like they said, like yo, the digging didn't stop. It's like the rabbit hole that the rabbit hole gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and then. Man, it's just like the most beautiful thing I could have ever seen through my life. And my nights consist of like Bible study on right. YouTube. I call my sister brother, I mean my sister's boyfriend over and like this is what we do. Right. Same with the kids. I let them stay up late and, and, and seek understanding. I just want you guys to understand like being able to see the world clear. And okay, um, there was a comment made to me. Um, what is like like certain things that I teach my children and tell my children people feel that I'm taking childish joy away from them and I'm like and and as comment was made what is the problem with them believing in a lie till they find out the truth and it just hurts so bad and I was like wow the fact that one can open their mouth and say that uh, lets me know how like captivated like a lot of our people are and it was like man I have so much pain finding out about even the smallest things that was a lie that like it bothers me as an adult i said i will never let my children grow up believing in a lie like i will i will inform them of the truth i will give all knowledge and whatever now what they do with that is what they do with right. that you, but like i gave you the truth i gave you the truth it's no point in living a lie it's no point because it's not a good feeling once you find out the truth like you feel like you've been bamboozled like i've been believing this all my life like not not only have i been leaving this all my life i've been taught this like nah 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 i'm not gonna push lies i'm not gonna push lies i want them to be able to be as honest right. like i want them to understand the the importance and honesty and, and and stuff like that i apologize to my children that's major you have to let them know that i'm just as imperfect as you so when you do something wrong you can come to me and tell me where we from we don't get that the no not wrong we nah from. never but I understand the importance right. in it. I understand because how how can they trust us? Like how can they come to us with certain things if they think we just hide? Mm -hmm. We these mighty people that don't make no mistakes. They're gonna feel disappointed. No, mommy did this. Mommy messed up. I'm sorry about letting this happen. I apologize. This and this is this is major. I don't know if this might um make people see things in another light. But as far as like I was letting my daughter sit on Santa's lap. I apologize to them about that because I'm teaching you other lessons as far as letting people touch you and, and, and you ever, ever in a million years sitting on a man's lap. That's not okay. How is it acceptable because this man, this white man got on a suit? No, I apologize. I was wrong. Right. I, it, it's not a major, major subject, but I get to be wrong here. You know what I mean? Or if I say something to a man, that like, mom, it wasn't me. I'm like, I'm sorry. My bad. I, I apologize. I didn't mean to. Y'all got me. You know what I mean? That's like, major though, because I, I don't think I ever heard a parent apologize oh, when man. I was growing up. Oh. It was like, parents always right. No matter what they do, whether it's wrong or Absolutely. right, it's always right. E even when they know that right. they was like wrong, they'll sit in a room with their girlfriend and probably kiki a key uh, about it before they come to you and be like, you know what, son? I was wrong. My girlfriend, she's major on like not letting her children um, like go to school after they had an argument like she always like make sure like they're on good terms before they leave out the house or whatever the case may be or letting them know like you know what i was upset i didn't mean to yell at you like that like i was having a horrible day because like parents we come in we snap for no reason we talk to these kids like this and then they go in their room and they feel some type of way when all reality we just snapping because we having a bad day because we had to do this that da, da, da. but these kids now they feel like my mom don't like me. Why is she talking to me like that? Da, 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 da. Can you imagine your mom? Hey, you know, about earlier, I was really upset. I, I was just having a bad day. I didn't even mean to talk to you like that. Yo, as a child, like you just feel like I matter. Like my mom really, like she loved me. She was just having a bad day. And like... I it's, it's just so important it's it's really really important because i think of because i was that child so i think about the moments of my kids being in their head so i think about what they could possibly be thinking about man i've had some thoughts i because I, I did a lot of like alone time where i felt alone a lot so i always 
and I had like a lot of thoughts going through my mind. So I always just try to like tune in and make sure like my children don't have like the wrong thoughts or ill feelings or ever have to think something is what it isn't, you know? So. How do you feel about marriage? Um, I don't know. I don't know. I definitely, um, um, I think that it's a beautiful thing. I think that, um, okay, so me, I understand the power of having, of a partner. So, like, I just, the, the, the beauty, like, I, yes, I definitely, I would definitely, like, that's a goal of mine, to get married and to share, like, to share this with somebody, you know what I mean? Like, these same talks, these conversations, and, um, a partnership like I've never had a partner like I I don't know what it's like for somebody to have my back like I feel like I'm the back holder like I am the person that hold all the backs and I just like I dream about like somebody treating me the way I treat them and I think that that would be the day I get married I have no idea what it's like to be treated the way I treat them no idea okay. so, so why do you think why do you think it's that way? Do you think you like over explain yourself too fast? Or like, why do you think um, the other person never get a chance to show you that they love you back? I, I don't know. I, I come to stop trying to understand people and get more in tune to understanding myself. And, um, and I just understand where I am. And I just come to realize that maybe they aren't there yet. I understand the power. Because some people are scared. Some people are fearful. They don't know my inner thoughts. They don't know that I'm like I, you know all that i say that i am like how can one just totally trust that and give it all maybe they're going through some stuff and i i don't know i understand like timing and i understand people so i don't know and maybe that individual just isn't for me you know so i just understand like when it happens or whoever it may be like i just understand how powerful and how 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 much i would protect it you know what i mean do you think you would ever be able to save yourself into a marriage? What I damn. Do you think that's what, <laughs> you think that would be something you'd possibly be able to do? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, for sure. For sure. For sure. For sure. Considering, yeah. Do you think that would be something that you would want to do? <laughs> <laughs> that I would want to do? I think that it would be like, damn, it would be so powerful. Yes. Yeah. So it would be it would have to be me to pull out, you know, like, like of that situation yeah. or take control and say like, like this can't happen anymore because yeah, I guess it, 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 it would definitely be me. God, for sure. Like I know for a fact that I could because of like the growth and the things that like I've come into now, like, like being loyal to a motherfucker that's not even mine. Like I never in a million years. Like if I don't have a boyfriend, I don't have a boyfriend. Like and that is what it is. Point blank. Period. Is not. That's it. Like I'm out here and I'm just enjoying myself or doing whatever. But like the person, like the new me, like I can meet a, I can meet an individual and see something in them and be loyal to that one person, regardless of this title of being single, because I know what I want. Like. I don't care that that you're single like okay i'm single and i only want to talk to you i only want to sleep with you like i only want to hang out with you like that's it so yeah i think that i would have to take that extra step <laughs> i'm not going to so when you talk to somebody do you think sleeping with them make you fall fast like um, get you deep into it and be all in your feelings and all that no for sure no nope no i don't no because i'm thinking of my situation you know and no not at all because you could you could take it away or like so have you ever been deeply into somebody before sex like deeply into them like oh does the sex always spark now, okay i can say okay now i have experienced a crazy ass um connection with an individual before sex and it was like then after sex it was like oh my god like like, like this is it like this right. is my forever you know like it's as far as like in this that that sexual aspect like it was just crazy but 
it is it's so much different when you connect with a person first and then you right. know y'all y'all have sex it's 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 crazy it's it's like it's magic i i, I don't know it's, it's different it's definitely different to like have have something not even just like you know i like you you like me like but if, to actually experience something with an individual right. before sex like damn how do we like we got this and we ain't even we ain't even have sex that's crazy yes so in them times like that do you get hurt in the end um this is newer to, to me so um no i guess not so when all things come to an end, you don't be hurt. You just walk off and just be regular happy. Okay. Because of yeah, because like I get it. Like I, I'm not being played here. Like I know what I'm doing. Like I'm in control. So like I feel like I control Andrea. And and, and prior to that, I didn't have any control. I was moving for other people. I was doing things, and I didn't know why I was doing it. And right. and then so yeah, there was hurt because there was like. No understanding. I didn't know what was going on. Like, I didn't get why you were leaving me or whatever the case may be. But I only accept like honesty. Like, I only accept honesty, and I only like I do what I feel and I do what I want. Right. In a sense, you know, like I ain't doing this shit because you want to. Yeah. Like, this is what I want to do. Right. And if this stops today or tomorrow, I did everything that I wanted to do. Like, right. I wasn't used. You didn't be like you ain't use me. But I did everything that I wanted to do. Right. You know. So the hurt that you experienced, did it ever make you want to hurt other people? Um, no. I can say that. Like it never made me want to hurt other people. Right. It made me want to like No, so I never went into another relationship and, and carried on with um the hurt that other people, you know, did to me. I always I was always so hopeful. Right. You know, I was just 'cause I'm I'm seeking, like I'm searching for it. So I was just hopeful. I didn't. I couldn't inflict. I couldn't inflict pain on people because I was looking for love, right. and I was just looking to be loved. I was this little puppy out here, like fucking see me and like love me correctly. Right. And it was like this person didn't. It was like I'm gonna try that shit over here. I wasn't looking to hurt people. I was like, yeah, I knew hurt. I ain't want that. I was looking for love, and I think maybe hurting people would have brought on more hurt. Right. I ain't out here to hurt people. I'm looking for love. So at them times when you were at your lowest and you was uh, screaming out for help, did it ever affect the way that you take care of your kids? Did, was your kids ever able to like feel anything or see anything? Oh man, yeah. Um, my children, like, um, I know like the reason I separated from their dad, we, we, we had a really bad fight and again seeing them cry the way they cried it was like it was something i've never really like heard or felt before and it was like what am i doing and like what like 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 it wasn't it wasn't right so i feel like that could have been symbolic to like a cry for help in a way you know like it was that that cry and then years later i heard that same cry again and they now that cry then they didn't understand what was going on, really, mm -hmm. you know, but they were hurt by whatever was going on. But then years later, at the age of seven, where they understand, and I heard that cry again, oh man, it like, it took me back to when they were babies and they heard that cry. It was so crazy, like, yo, like I let that same, like I let, I let that shit happen right. again. Like, I felt like I felt them, like nothing. Yeah, 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 that, that, that was crazy. But um, I know I had dated during the time I was dating somebody. Um, and when we would go through like arguments or like on our breaks, you know, being on and off, on and off, stuff like that. I wouldn't be my same jolly self around my children. Like I couldn't, I couldn't conduct, like I, I couldn't be, I couldn't be 100% for them because I wasn't 100%, you know. I was worried about what this person was doing or trying to prove myself to them or, you know, or ch whatever may have been going on during that time. But I just, I couldn't be, I couldn't be myself for them, you know. Um, yeah, they, 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 they've seen, they've seen some stuff for sure. How do you think they feel like, I'm sure they probably met a few people, mm -hmm. mommy, friend, or whatever case may be. How do you think they feel about that? Um, 
What you mean? Like, mommy might have a friend. Okay. And that friend might be around for such and such time, and then he might not see him ever again. Yeah. And then the next friend, you know what I'm saying? So they've only ever had, like, honestly, they've only ever seen me with one other person outside of, like, their dad. And I can't even say that they've ever seen us together, like, right. loving one another. I don't think they've ever experienced that. Um, but I spent a couple years with an individual and they, they, they seen that love, like they seen it, like that, that's what it was supposed to be. Like that, um, how a woman should love a man, that that's what they experienced. Cause I, I know that kids, the same way you grew an attachment to a person, yeah. that kids can grow that same attachment, right. but then when that person is over with mm -hmm. and they never see him again, how do you think that make them feel? Um, I know. It definitely affected them, it, for sure. But I, I come to acknowledge it and like I, I talk to them about it and I let them know that there's nothing wrong with you guys and we can't make like, like, just because me and mommy, just because we didn't work doesn't mean anything for you guys. You know what I mean? That don't mean that you did anything wrong or that you know like you're less than. Like people have to deal with themselves. Like. And, and, and that's kind of that, that's kind of what it is. Yeah, we miss them and we this and we that. But here's the reality of it: like this person is gone, and like they're not like they're not coming back. You didn't do anything wrong. You know what I mean? Mommy loves you. I'm never ever going anywhere. I always try and reassure them of that. And if I do, I teach them how how much they they have each other. You know what I mean? So just just being realistic about some of the things or whatever them not having their father you know what i mean like i gotta explain these things to them so like just being honest i can't i can't say man my daughter cried one day we was listening to a song um we were listening to a song in the car one of our favorite songs we were just singing 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 and one day she was saying the words incorrectly so i stopped her and i told her what it mean and she was like you know kind of like how dot 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 did and she started crying she was crying, like, because, like, this individual up at, like, they was out on them. But now my job is just console and, 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 and to teach you and to have you understand that this ain't the first time that you're, like, this is what's going to happen in life. Uh, same with, um, like, the young lady that lived with us. They didn't understand, like, where is she? Why did she leave us? Like, what happened? So I just reassure them that there's nothing wrong with you. That's all I can do. Like you are special, you are beautiful, you are powerful, you are superior, you did nothing wrong. Like people have to get themselves together and maybe they just can't be here right now. Some people just in your life for a certain season. Oh man, reason. yeah, they do what they do and they go. I never, I didn't get to stress that part yet. But yeah, honestly, they come, they are here for a reason and you gotta accept that and move on with your life. Right. Can't focus on why people do what they do, cause we'll go crazy. We'll go crazy. Yeah, I talk to them. I talk to them like I talk to my friends. Right. I promise, like I really do. Right. Have you ever had any addictions? Um. Yeah. Um. So <laughs> what is an addiction? <laughs> yeah, I guess I would say I have an addiction. And what's that? Um, marijuana is my addiction. My yep, I would say. Is it something that you want to stop? Yes, yes, and I say yes because of the control, not because of the the substance, and and because as I was about to say that, like I got some like correction, and. I would like to because it's unlawful. You know what I mean. So I, I would, I would lo love to eliminate that because it brings no value. You know, it brings no value to my life. It's, it's, what am I doing here? Right. But it's to the point where I need it. I, I'm to the point where like I need it. Like I can't, like I can't sleep without right. it. And I, I don't like, I don't like that feeling. Like I just experienced it when I was away. I'm up just like looking at walls. 6:30 in the morning have a problem like, that's a problem and yeah I, I guess it would be now considering that I did go without it like I guess yeah it's still an addiction mm -hmm. because like I, I just all I thought about right. like I'm thinking about it while, while while I was in a place that I was at like I can't get to it and I'm thinking about it. not only am I thinking about it I'm trying to figure out what can I substitute it with right 
let's go to the bar and get something to drink so that right. I can go to sleep tonight, please. And that's exactly what was happening. Yeah. Like, I can't smoke and find something to put me to sleep. I'm not saying that I'll ever go out and try no, you know, crazy drug yeah. or anything, but I just, like, I, I so definitely. What steps do you plan on taking to help you get over it? Um, I have not initiated any steps outside of me just telling myself, like, I know that I need right. to stop because of the control that it has. I never implemented anything. Like, I'm not. Man, one day, no, I definitely said it. One day I was like, I was like I'm done. I ain't smoking. I took everything out of my house. I like, grinder. I, I get, yo, I put a whole package together. Grinder, backwoods, my weed, everything. And I took it over to my sister and they were like, I'm done. Here, y'all take it. Like, I don't need it. I'm, I ain't doing nothing. I tried, tried to go cold turkey. That night they came over. They came over and we were going to do like, but we was doing Bible study. They come over and he was like, it's cool if I, you know, it's cool. I'm like, yeah, like I'm done. Like, I'm cool. Like, I'm done. I'm done. Man, he, he they did this first L. They smoked the first L. I was fine. I was probably busy and just being in control. He put that second one together. I was just like, please, please give me some. And then it was, it was just, yeah, it was bad. Like looking for my damn grinder. It was so bad. Like one day I called a damn Uber driver to bring me back with like, really? Yeah, like I like I set him up. I because I had the kids at home, I couldn't leave. So I was like, um, I ordered me an Uber to the gas station that I wanted to go to. But as soon as I got his information, I just called him and was like, Hey, uh, instead of coming to pick me up. Could you just uh, stop at the gas station and bring me bring me some backwards and I'll I'll pay you this and I'll pay right. you that. And he's like, yeah. But that was like an attic moment. I had weed right. and I didn't have backwards. So I was like, what can I do? How can I get it? I can't leave the damn kids here right now. Like, and yeah, that was definitely like one of my damn dog. Right. You drawing? Like you really like you need this shit that bad? Like that, that that's where I'm at with it. And I don't like it because something is controlling me like i love to be in control and that that one part of my life i can't control it's not like i can smoke when i want in my own leisure and right. you know just it's just fun or kiki kaka -ka, like you know like i need this right. shit. like it's a bill i paying for this shit. like it was different when i wasn't paying for it so now that you need it like I, I can't wait for you know this person to just right. give me some or yeah about. or wait for me to hang out nah I need it. <laughs> so would you recommend anybody else use it? Hell no. I mean, if you want to be controlled, if you like being controlled, go for it. Like, But if you want control of your own life, then absolutely not. Mm -mm. Nah. Thank, thank you for that transparency. Yeah. Uh, is there anything else from your life that's um, that stands out to you that you want to share with us today that, that we didn't touch? No. Nope. Any encouraging words? Man, if I had any encouraging words, any encouraging words would be to seek God. Like I couldn't, I wouldn't have anything else. And and then and I feel that could help. That not that it could. I feel that it will help. No matter what we're dealing with, no matter what your battle is, because anything I may have talked about today, like somebody might not be dealing with and, and they might be dealing with other things and it's like I can give advice to those people too and that's just like seek God honestly and when I say seek him I mean seek him for yourself like you know don't ask you don't have to ask people questions you can really like sit back and and and, and, and connect like really seek him by yourself like ask yourself the same questions you ask yourself when you following a celebrity on Instagram or whatever the case may be. Like you can do some research. Or when you're interested in the guy. Or Yeah, or when you're interested in a guy. Honestly, I don't know how much research I do on a guy, though. I really don't. I, maybe I should have, but <laughs> I never really did any research uh, on no guys. But yeah, for sure, I, I, like that is my biggest advice. You seek him, seek understanding of things. And, and, and I think with with God is 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 understanding, so it's like that's 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 the biggest thing, and I I think like like once our it, it all starts up here, like once we can like free and clear our mind of certain things, it's like like it's up from there, and that's how I feel like it's up from there because like with Him, it's just no confusion. It's kind of like 
I am who I am and I said what I said and it's so beautiful because it's not too much in between you know what I mean and it's just it's really dope it's really dope and I would love for everybody to experience it like it's free no matter what you've been through like I said like I'm no different from uh, like I'm no different from anybody else and it's like I get to see these things and feel these things so can you and like that's that's why I feel the way I feel I feel like it's nothing better in the world that you can do for somebody than to introduce them to God. Mm -hmm. Man, let me tell you, let me tell you somebody that has like the most special place in my life and in my heart and in my everything. And I'm sure you'll be floored and I'm sure she'll be floored. Yay. Yay is my everything. Like the pop, yo, she gave me the understanding of how powerful it is to like, to pray for one and, and, and how passionate I am when someone prays for me and my children. Like, like I, um, I have chills going through me right now, and 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 I share that with people all the time. Like, man, pray for that person. You pray for them. You pray for them, man. Yo, somebody praying for your children, man, man. Her hugs. She would hug me, and she would say everything that I just needed to hear, and and I would feel everything that I needed to feel. And it was like, and that was this. That that was it. Right. And it was like. You know, once it's, the hug is done and the prayer is done, is that like that's it? And it was no effort. It was no effort. So it was like the best thing that you can do, the most powerful thing you can do, is pray for people, man. Pray, man. Um, I was at your house one day, and 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 just to come to find that these young women were were speaking positive or or seeing things in me that somebody could never see in me was so powerful, and it would stick with me like for it ever because you don't come across that stuff and it's like you have people like this that aren't shy to share these things right. like i pray for you or i see that you really carrying this on you and you can let some of these things go that shit is so powerful yo it don't make no sense like you can't give me no money for my kids you can't tell me they're gonna be okay you can't play step daddy to them this yay came around and and, and the way she prayed for me and my children whoo nobody impacted my life the way she did right. i don't talk to this girl i don't talk to her like once in a blue moon like you know we'll send a text message or she'll be uh, uh um appointed to pray for me or whatever the case may be and she don't gotta do it often she don't gotta do it because i can just think of her and it'll make me pray right so her mission is complete right. like it, she, she was mission to pray for me for a whole month it was not completed and it didn't have to be completed because the words that the, which your mission that you had for her was in the mission that he had for me right. you know what i mean i didn't need 30 days i needed what i needed i got what i got and i and i say like it's just so major i, I the way i pray for people and and, and, the way, and i tell you i tell you i pray for you like i tell the people that i pray for them like there's no secrets these ain't secrets like tell these people and it's so powerful man i tell people like pray for your neighbor Pray, pray for him, man. I do every day because I don't understand how anything can come, come. How can anything good come to me if I'm not praying for the people around me? How? How can anything come good to me? I'm hanging around Rich every day. I'm hanging around my mentor every day. I'm with my damn kids every day. I'm here. I'm there. You know, I wake up every day. But how are you not praying? You know, and it's silent. You can do that, like. I did that about three times. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, it's effortless, and you don't have to, you don't have to know how because I come to understand that he know my hurt. I sit back and I be like, I really don't even know how to pray. Like, like, do I have to go somewhere and learn like how to pray? Like, like I used like it, that used to steer me away from praying for people. But no, just like leave with your heart. It can be silent. It don't even have to be vocal. Like, like, and I understand that power, man. My friend, when I hold his hand, I pray. Oh my goodness, I pray for this man in silence when I hold his hand, and it, it, it just don't stop. Right. It just, it just flow, and he'll never know. He'll never know. Right. We lay there. I hope, man. I pray for him, and, and that be it. I do my job, and 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 yeah, the power of that prayer. I see it. You know, I see it. I live it. I'm walk. I'm I'm walking every day. Like I see the power of it. So yeah, for sure. Pray for people and see the power. Can you pray for yourself right now? Mm. And that's one I'm person. I'm agree with you. So you can denounce some things, so you can speak some great things over your life. 
yes, yes, I can. But if you're asking me to pray for myself out loud, it probably won't happen. It's gonna happen right now. No, it's not. Yes, it no. 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 Can you lead? You got it. Oh no. No. I don't care if you sound stupid. <laughs> say what you need to say. No. Oh no. Mm. Okay. I thank you. I thank you for waking me up this morning, first and foremost. I thank you for laying your hands over my daughters every day, every day and every night. Um, God, um, I ask, I ask that you, I ask that you continue to shed knowledge and understanding inside of me, God. I, I, I hope and I pray that you, I hope and I pray that you continue to guide me the way that you have been guiding me. Uh, thank you for everything. Um, I, I don't, I, I wouldn't be able to sim, uh, point out the things that I thank you for. Uh, I'm grateful. Um, I'm grateful. I am grateful. Father God, I come before you today, Father. Humbly as I know how you're standing in proxy for Andrea Johnson right now, Father. I thank you for her life, Father. I thank you for her existence, Father. I thank you for allowing her to take revelation out of each and everything that she's been through in her life, Father. I thank you for keeping her mind, Father. I thank you for just giving her the strength to carry on with, with two, two daughters uh, solely by herself, Father. I just thank you for allowing her to have a household for them, Father. Allowing her to have a vehicle for them, Father. Allowing her to make ends meet, Father. Always, Father. I thank you. I ask for forgiveness for her sins, known and unknowingly, Father. I ask that you continue to prop her up on every name inside, Father. I ask that you continue to make her the great queen that she mm -hmm. is, Father. I ask that you continue to remove anything that is not like you and replace it with your love, Father. Replace it with your grace, Father. Replace it with your kindness, Father, and your patience, Father, and all those good things, Father. I ask that you continue to clean her up from the inside on out so that the Holy Spirit can reside in her, Father. I ask that you continue to allow her to be an example an example so that her family members or friends who don't know Christ can know Christ, Father. I pray that you continue to minister to and through her, Father, even when she don't know what she's doing, Father. I pray that you just use her in a miraculous way, Father. And I thank you for, for, for finding her fit, Father, to still be alive, finding her fit and trusting her with two beautiful daughters, Father, finding her fit to, 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 to walk in any atmosphere and just shift the whole atmosphere, Father. I just thank you, Father, for loving her, for always keeping her, never leaving her, Father. I thank you. I thank you right now for showing her uh, that, that, that the things that she's been through, that it was all for a reason, Father, and that she's purposeful, Father, mm -hmm. and that she should never feel less than that she's a beautiful queen, Father, and you love her. And if she love herself just as you love her, Father, she can do anything in the world, Father. I pray that you continue to allow her to be uh, steadfast and unmovable. Allow her to stand on her principles and her morals and her self-respect, Father, so that when she does meet her husband, her husband can can uh, follow her lead on loving her, Father, and respecting her, Father. I pray that I pray that you remove the spirit of addiction off of her right now, the spirit of lust off of her right now, Father. I thank you right now, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus, amen. Amen. Thank you guys for tuning in. Please like, comment, and subscribe. You can look forward to seeing us every single week. Thank you.